Welcome back to Menchie's Art and Hobbies. Today, I'm in my garden and I'm going to show you my roses and the ways to keep them continuously blooming all summer long. So come and join me in this fun activity wherein I'm going to show to you my roses. By the way, I have a shout out to my friends here at YouTube. They are Ped and Maureen Fernandez. And you can find them at Simpleng Buhay sa San Roque. Hello, Ped and Maureen. Thank you for always supporting me and my videos. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Click the subscribe button below. Also, give me a like and uh, click the notification bell also you can leave me some comments thank you very much so one of the most important thing that i do for my roses to keep it blooming is to trim the old flowers because if we don't trim the old flowers the energy will continue to go to this old and drying flowers okay so what i do is i cut it down two or three leaves below so I will decide to cut it down here a few centimeters above that bud that's coming that's a new branch that's coming and it will grow one here and will give me another flower in just a few weeks This old branch with an old flower has been cut and after just a few days you can see that a new branch is coming out and actually there's one more on the lower part there so two branches are coming out and they will give me more stem and more flowers I feed my roses with the right nutrients uh, by giving them fertilizers or plant foods. Any kind of uh, fertilizers or plant food would be okay. I'm not picky when it comes to giving um, my roses the, the food that they need. Like this one. This one is from Smid, water soluble plant food. 1530-15 and it says for all flowering annuals and perennials and house plants so rose is a perennial so it would do for for my roses I just uh, dissolve this in water and then feed them with that I also use other fertilizers like this one this is miracle grow 2020-20 which will really make my plants bloom very well so these are both uh, water soluble I just uh, put water in the can and then dissolve it and uh, feed them maybe uh, once a week or if they're looking good I do it about every other week and they continue to bloom until summer is over summer here in canada is until the end of august and it can also extend up to september as long as the temperature is still not dropping another thing that i do for my roses is to keep them with mulch see i always put mulch this mulch i just uh, got from home depot these are just ordinary mulch the mulch will keep the weeds out and it will also keep the moisture of the soil constant watering is very important to roses because they have a very large uh, root system that means uh, they need a lot of water down below so water your roses regularly if it's uh, rainy days, it's okay not to water every day. 
maybe every other day but uh, during this time particularly now that our temperature is so high our temperature right now is over 30 degrees centigrade in Toronto so we need to water our roses so okay guys we need to water our roses so that they will continue to give you nice bloom nice flowers beautiful flowers that will serve as decoration for your garden you can also cut your roses right my roses are all hybrid tea that means they are big and they could be cut and put in bouquet or in uh, the vase another thing that i always do is looking at the insects that are eating my roses particularly the leaves just look at this one this one has been eaten and let's look around maybe there are some insects there oh yeah i see one and it's scary <laughs> i'm scared of this bugs you see that you see that you see that that's the one eating my leaves okay so this is what i'm gonna do spray it with my insecticide and let's see where is it now right there Yes, it's sleeping. Okay. Are you still alive? We'll find out later. In the meantime, let's look for more insects. Oh gosh. Here, there's one here. Right there. And I think it's also sleeping. blowing so let me see spray it okay <laughs> so it's gone I usually spray so that I would scare the insects and one and would leave my roses alone this one is the best blooming rose I have eight fully bloomed flowers and there are two more here two more buds here coming and there's one more bud there coming also and there will be more this one the name of this one is princess kate so this is a new variety probably i bought this for oh maybe 40 dollars and it's been here in my garden for three years and all the time it's giving me lots and lots of flowers the yellow beautiful one is called Midas Touch I like Midas Touch because it's very bright Midas Touch has big big bloom like this and look at the petals the petals are so big so big and beautiful and bright and look at the buds so the buds really look so amazing they're so beautiful and they give a lot of flowers right there it's very healthy look at the leaves the leaves are so healthy look at that really really green this one is my purple rose it's pinky purple but when I bought this it says it will give me purple flowers look as it becomes old it becomes more purple like this okay but this one is also beautiful stunning it's the first rose I have in the line of roses here in my garden this one is my red red rose it's a little bit late in blooming but you see all the, the other roses are already blooming but this one is just starting to bud but don't worry this one will give me a nice big red red flower this is called mr lincoln the flowers are not as big as the other ones 
but it's also beautiful because uh, the color is different it's orange beautiful orange rose this rose is so pretty so pretty look at that this is uh, uh, not really white outside is white but inside it has a touch of uh, a cream color see how beautiful it is especially those that are just starting to bloom to open how pretty you can use this in weddings so romantic this one i love this white rose that i have take a look at this one that's not yet open beautiful 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 i'm so in love with my roses see how beautiful they are lovely lovely so thank you very much guys for watching my video today and i hope you learned something from me on how to make your roses continuously blooming all summer long and don't forget to always give love to your roses feed them regularly with the right nutrient water them constantly mulch them or put mulch underneath and don't forget to cut the old and drying flowers so that it will give you another new and beautiful flower if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, click the notification bell, leave me some comments, or you can also share my video to your friends. Until the next video, thank you and bye-bye!